everybody, this is uh, Dead Linux with um, the Linux video, but a real quick one, just because I've been fighting with it and I finally had to install it manually. I uh, just wanted to show you something. Check this out. That's right. I'm running ProPilky2 in Linux, In I'm using Play on Linux as the installer. Now, I tried this several different ways. Uh, for, I'm having problems with getting the download, the file to download. You probably will not have the same thing. But if you ever wanted to install this from here, you can simply click on um, install. And if you look under the games list here, you'll actually find ProPilkey in the list right here. And you can follow through the install. I had problems with this, so I was not able to get this to work just because it would get to the part where it would start downloading the ProPilkey 2 program and wouldn't run it. Um, because it, it was grabbing the PHP file, it wasn't actually grabbing the executable, it wasn't going right, whatever. And I think it's more my ISP, I don't think it's a problem with the, with the website at all. Um, so you'll probably won't have a problem using this. Follow all the steps through, it's really straightforward. I thought about making a video on it, but it's not even really worth it, because it's actually really easy. Now if you wanted to install ProPilkey 2 and just wine by itself, you can do that as well. It doesn't seem to have a problem at all. Otherwise, if you're having problems like I did, you can go install non-listed program. It'll go through a manual installation and then you'll just need to have to have downloaded the executable beforehand and have it that way. So that said, let's uh, get into it. So I was playing a little bit here just a second ago. Actually, we should be able to do this. I'm just going to make sure I don't have any flashing here. Doesn't look to be too bad. Good, I'm using OBS uh, if you haven't been able to tell. Oh, is there no, oh, no, they don't have an about? That's ridiculous. Anyway, OBS, Open Broadcasting Suite software to record this. So we'll see how this works. Um, let's see, we'll do practice again, like I was using. Do this again. Oh, shoot. You can't hear any of the sound. That stinks. Um, can I fix that? There we go. See if that makes a difference. Let's go back. Yes, it does. Now are we doing... You can still hear me. Okay, good. All right, so, yeah, that's right. That's me. Now let's do practice. That's fine. Yep. Um, what was the one I just picked? I just picked one random. Was it this guy? Yeah, it was. Now I want to do it in the morning, in the spring. Yep. And we're going to do start on the south side. Here we go. Now you should be able to I think you're able to hear that. Hope so. If not, then I guess you just get to see the uh, the video only, which I, I can hear the sound just fine in my headset. So that sounds not an issue. But let me show you catching some fish. Um, we'll see how much I suck. Where am I? I'm there. Okay, so I want to go go a little further. Yep, that's fine. Okay, and then I want to use that's fine. That's a perfectly fine setup. Punch. And here we are. Okay, so I'm going to check the video or the sound quality here real quick, and I will be right back. Okay, so this seems to be working a lot better than it was previously. So put that back up, go back, and continue. Okay. So now you should be able to hear the wind and all that kind of stuff. So I did change my recorder. You did see at the very end there it was starting to flicker. That's just because when I try to run programs that do use whatever the graphics device is, either this OpenGL or whatever it's trying to do, um, it doesn't like to record that plus the desktop at the same time. It likes to try to overlay one over the other and then it starts to flicker. So I switched that around. Now you should be able to see it just fine. There we go. So now I actually catch some fish. A uh, very tiny fish. Oh well, it's okay. Fish is fish, right? What's oh, a sunny day too? Damn it! Do you want it, or are you gonna just sit there playing with it? Yeah. Oh, he decided to go for it. Tiny roughy. 
I'm just playing in practice mode, as you saw, so it's not like I'm doing anything really major. But I did want to capture that bit with me starting the program, just to prove to you that, yeah, it can be done. So don't let that stop you. Especially if you're looking for a nice fishing game and you are a Linux user, you get both. So it's running really, really kind of slick. And I'm actually not running it full screen, I'm running it into window that uh, I can drag and drop around. Which I don't think you can do in, in Windows. I think you have to do that. I think it's just a Linux thing. But, you know, the graphical fidelity of this game is not its strong point. So, most of the graphical stuff is pretty easy. I've just got this pocket of just these little tiny fish. That's okay. Catch a few more of these guys, and then we'll call it a successful run. There we go. That's a little bigger guy. <laughs> By a couple of grams. <laughs> Gosh, come on! Give me something I can use! Um, let's use a different... Uh, let's try gold. Why not? It's not going to kill me. There we go. Yeah, but this play is really smooth. I mean, I'm really impressed with how this is working. But like I said, the thing I had to do was download the executable first and then install it manually. Um, and then follow the instructions. This is not a how-to. This is just proof. Um, so if you are having difficulty installing it, then you can actually contact Play on Linux because they do have it in their list. And other people that have been... Uh, having difficulty there should be posting there as well. Uh, should be anyway. It's kind of how those things work. Let's try green. Green's not as good. Fish got away. It must be too small. Let's try a different color. I did have something in this lake snap my line, so... I didn't look at the, the description of this lake either. Usually they take... yep, somebody takes it right in the drop. Oh, give me again. Oh, kind of. Come on. Are they gone? No. They might be. Well. Let's try this one more time here. Let me switch this up to the... Oh, let's try red. Pinkish, reddish, whatever this is. And we'll switch this back to red. Let's see how this works. There we go. There's somebody. Eh, not too bad. I want bigger than that, though. Come on. I don't really want to use my same bait, but... Mm, we'll see. Now I may have to switch my bait. Oopsie. Yeah, that's a completely blanched. So we'll try it again. There we go. Little tiny guys. But it's enough to... <coughs> it's enough to at least show you the... Uh, <laughs> to show you the experience of the game. So again, this has been Denlux. Thank you for watching. And again, just to prove it, it can be done. Uh, go out there, download that program, and run it in Linux. And uh, all you'll need is wine. And from then on, you should be able to... You could probably install it in six different ways you want to do it. It looks like it's pretty, pretty straightforward. But that's just proof of how to do it. So we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.